Hello, I'm James, amateur radio call sign WA7JNJ. This channel is about learning, exploring, and playing radio. And one of the things that I've been learning about recently is a mesh core, and then also a specific Puget Sound uh, region resource called WarDrive, uh, or WarDriving app. And so I've had a lot of fun exploring with that, so I wanted to give a quick overview and share about that resource. I will have links in the description for all the information I talk about today. And again, for those in other areas that's not the Puget Sound here in Washington, please check uh, your local resources for mesh devices and mesh uh, support, Discord, those kinds of things. I'll put links as I have some of those. And, uh, but anyway, I wanted to share this resource uh, today. If you'd like to learn more about Mesh Core and Meshtastic, I've got a few videos on my website that you can uh, watch as well as I'll put resources in the description. Ultimately, it's a way to, to send text messages without the infrastructure of a cell phone network and it's a pretty great technology. So what is war driving? I've, it was a term that I had not heard before, but it's a, it's a term used to search for wireless networks as you're driving around and mapping networks. And so from a mesh core perspective, it's a way to drive around generally, although you can drive or, or uh, do other things, but generally driving and searching for mesh core signals or seeing where the coverage is to help create a map. And so that's what ultimately has been fun to do. Now, in the past, I've driven around and sent text messages, uh, mesh core messages to my device at home and done some testing that way. This is a way that has made it quite fun and a little bit addictive to drive around and fill in boxes on the mesh core map and, and see where the coverage is. So the ultimate goal of the, the War Drive app is to create a coverage map and so again, it is right now a local Puget Sound resource, um, but you can go to the map and I'll, get, I'll include a link in the description. The map has different views. There's a simple view, there's a coverage view. Uh, you can see who's been driving in the last uh, one day. And I saw that in the last day or so, there's new views that have been added to the app as well. So it is a great resource to see uh, where there is coverage along with the other Meshtastic and Mesh Core maps that are out there. Uh, so this is one of those tools. As you fill in the boxes, the green box will show that there is some coverage in the area. You can click on the box to see how many of the packets that were sent were received and how many uh, were not received. And then it'll also show a red box if uh, there was no messages or at least pings received in that area. Now the other cool thing is that if there is a signal received and it's a green box, you can click on that box and see what repeaters heard that message. And so it's a, it's a very cool tool to see that. So how can you war drive and contribute to the coverage map? There is a link to instructions that help lay it out. And there's a few things that I'll highlight today. Ultimately, what you're gonna do is use a Chrome or Edge browser. Uh, in Apple, there's another option, um, but you're gonna open that and allow GPS coordinates or location services to provide it from that, from that device. You do also need to be heard from one of three repeaters. Uh, that might change in time, but there's three repeaters that you'll need to be heard from, and so that's why the, the general coverage in the Puget Sound is key. If you have your MeshCore device connected to your phone via Bluetooth, you'll need to disconnect in the MeshCore app and then connect via Bluetooth in the WarDriving app. The WarDrive app will use a hashtag WarDrive channel in the MeshCore network. And so you can add that uh, on your phone and just see who's at WarDriving uh, by typing in add channel, hashtag WarDrive. Or when you're using the WarDrive app, it'll automatically add that, and, and so you don't need to worry about that. So once you've got the WarDrive app connected to your phone and it's all ready to go, sending location and those kinds of things, um, you can, when you're ready to start driving, you press the auto ping, and that will send a ping to the network every 10 seconds, or if a grid, grid square needs to see the ping. Sometimes I'll ping manually uh, if I believe it will add value to the network. It's a different height location or somewhere that might get a signal another spot didn't, but uh, please be uh, uh, limit the amount of pings that you send as it does use the overall network. 
once you're done driving and, and done your war drive, you can then disconnect your, your phone and stop pinging and uh, go back and check out the war drive app to see, see the new coverage that's been added. Well, you can walk to war drive or, or hike or those kinds of things, but in generally you're gonna be driving and wanted to walk you through my mobile setup today. When I first started using MeshTastic, I used an outside antenna. It was a cheaper mag mount I bought from Amazon. I've since upgraded, but I have seen a few new options on Amazon and I'll include those links for items that are four stars or above. Uh, but my setup, I'm using a Rockland mag mount with a tau glass antenna. It was one that was recommended on the MeshTastic site. And uh, 200 uh, is the coax. Uh, I'll have to put the, put the description there. Um, so a little better coax. You are going to have loss when you're running an antenna to your device in the vehicle. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's my setup there. I use a Helltech V3. Uh, to send the signals is a very common device and so I'm using that as my mesh core device today and for most of my drives. And again I'll use uh, send a few of the links. I am a Rockland affiliate so thanks for clicking on that and those who have in the past are just checking out stuff there and Amazon as well. All right well that's the setup. Why don't we go for a war drive? All right so we're in the car about to do the war drive and first thing I need to do is disconnect my device from uh, the Helltech in the back and I'm going to go to a Chrome browser here and go to the War Drive app and I'm going to connect and so I am connected now to the device and I will press start auto ping and you can see there's a lot of squares around us already that are uh, that are part of the map. But we'll do the auto ping and we're ready to go. Main thing is to be safe when you're driving. I know it's tempting to look at the phone and see what's going on. Be, be safe. Um, so let's go for a drive and do some more driving. Alright, so driven a little ways, but found a spot where we can start adding to the mesh core map. And so I do have it uh, on auto pinging. And uh, I will also be able to show you the war drive channel as I'm driving and see what's being received. So uh, why don't we go add some squares to the mesh core map? Let's go. Right, we've driven a little bit, but about to find a spot where we can add some squares to the mesh core coverage map. And uh, so I'll show you both the app on my phone as we're driving, and you can see um, here as it sends the ping here in just a second. Uh, and then I'm also have a device that's watching the uh, war, war driver channel, so you can see the GPS coordinates that are, is uh, that are coming across as we drive. Um, so it looks like uh, we are driving in this box. It, uh, there we go. So it did just change the box to red. Um, so we'll wait and kind of see if it does anything else. Sometimes it'll turn red and then it'll uh, take a second, it'll turn green. So no signal yet, at least in those squares. They both turned red. Uh, but why don't we take a right and we'll, uh, we'll drive up the hill a little bit. So not seeing any, uh, any green boxes yet, but uh, just a reminder to keep your eyes on the road and be safe when you're, when you're doing this. Definitely not worth getting in an accident. Um, also, just a reminder, if uh, you have used MeshTastic and aren't sure about MeshCore, strongly encourage you to check it out. There's been a lot of growth in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, I've just seen so much activity on the main channel. Um, I see messages come through from Vancouver, Victoria, BC, 
all the way down to, to south of Seattle, Kent, Auburn. Uh, I've even sent a message uh, from Marysville to my brother in Issaquah, which I never thought I'd be able to do, and, and we're starting to get pretty consistent with being able to do that. So um, overall, it's been really a great system. Um, so check it out. Uh, if you have a high spot in a hill or somewhere where you have a, a tower antenna, love to see some more repeaters set up and just expand the network. Uh, but overall, just uh, I really have enjoyed using Mesh Core. All right, so not seeing any more green yet, but uh, we'll keep driving. Again, I hope this helps give you an, an overview of what it's like to do a war drive and what it's like to both use the app and, and see how it pings to the network. And uh, let's do a little bit more driving and then we'll wrap up. All right, driving around for a little bit here and uh, have not seen any green square. So I'd love to show you at least what it looks like when you get a green square. I'm near the Arlington Airport and there's a note around here somewhere. Uh, so hopefully we'll get uh, just on the west side of the airport. Hopefully we'll get some uh, some squares filled in. All right, here we go. So we're about to cross into the square. just sent a ping or about to and it's green so that is awesome and we'll just keep driving around the west side of the airport here I know the other side of the airport was uh, I wasn't getting any pings the other day so at least you get a feel for what it looks like uh, as you start to fill in some green squares well, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about MeshCore and the specific tool, the WarDrive app. Uh, we got a good drive in today and a lot of red squares, but uh, a few green ones. So hopefully it encourage you to get out there and expand the MeshCore network. Uh, so thanks again. Appreciate any likes as it helps the channel or any comments, questions, I'll do my best to answer. I will put links in the description for information and some of the devices I've used and appreciate you checking those out as well. Uh, so thanks again for watching and I'll just say uh, to keep learning and exploring and enjoying playing radio. 7-3 from WA7 J&J. &J.